This is a call to action for everyone playing the jump weekly. We all need to join together to take down the jump scaling builds. The best counter is the seahorse, eggplant, and crocodile. Just screw up their ordering, snipe their support frogmen, jackalopes, all that, but I can do it alone. They get permanent scaling from frogmen every round they're allowed to jump. We all need to join together if we're going to eliminate this build. Okay. Probably like this. We're just going squash packages. That's accurate. Y'all know it is. Um, we're just going a little bit of whatever this is. Just a bunch of two threes. Nothing else to it. Here, here. Here we go, Marmoset. I'd like an ant, but at this point, I think we're looking to pivot. You know, what's the point of the ant at that rate? People out here really running mice, huh? Despicable. We go here. Roll me. Try to find some sort of levels. That's good. That counts. Eh, Bluebird's probably leaving soon anyways. Holy cannoli. <laughs> this guy's already level 3. How does that happen? Okay, you're up front now. Minotaur seems good. I would reckon. Ooh, level me. Okay, so Baboon's gonna he heal. <laughs> I was gonna say heal. He's gonna buff our Lucky Cat. Ogopogo is a natural combo for Lucky Cat. Probably swap out the Bluebird next turn. How the heck do we draw that? <laughs> what the heck? Alright. Here to you. Here. Here. Freeze you. Give you gingerbread and... Honestly, get rid of you. Hopefully the baboons don't buff each other. They probably will, if we're gonna be real, but... That's just the name of the game. Not that bad of buffs. At least a little bit hit our Minotaur. Okay, I think we should be good here. Our cat's just taking out their whole friggin' squad. We don't even need the Minotaur. Okay, now we combine you. Ooh. Do a little buy sell. Throw. I want the giraffe. Because you really want this baboon to hit the Minotaur. So what if we do... We do this. Roll me once. I'll get some... I can't do that. I could buy a cell. Or, we put Chinchilla in the back. That's just a two gold stockpile, if, if you think about it. That's not too bad. You goofed up your Minotaur slot again. What the heck? See now, ooh, level me. Frog Vulture. I don't think I want either of those. Oh, I just bonked my mic. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna say no. We're better than the, the frog build. Or so I tell myself. Mm -mm -mm. Roman? We need something good here. I mean, a lucky cat would be nice. Um... I mean, we could throw in a slug, perhaps. I kind of like this Lucky Cat setup, though. I'll hold on to the Garial, just as a little, in case we need it. Um, yeah. We'll Garial, and then the Baboon will actually have someone to hit. Lowest health enemy, check. We're hunting for those... Well, not that guy. I'm gonna say the... Frog, man. 
But apparently we're hunting summon builds here. <clears throat> I'm hunting a bunch of slugs or something. Alright, roll in here. As soon as we find a lucky cat, we'll be free of this Ogo Pogo nonsense. That doesn't mean I want another one. Um, freeze me. What if we just get rid of you? No, <laughs> that would be troll. Okay. I wanted to sell you and get a baboon instead, but... No. I want that two gold. Give me that two gold lucky cat. Who did he just kill? I didn't see. Did we snipe the frog? Feels like a frog kind of vibe. Oh, you gotta run that back. No, we sniped some random drop bear. <laughs> Never mind. Um, alright. Throw these guys on here. Um, we go here. I think we do like this. More gold efficient, and let's get a fly going. We don't have any tier 5 for the baboon, which is pretty unfortunate. If I do say so myself. Okay, we should be all right here. Man, that onion on the jump pets, it's a whole other vibe, <laughs> you know? It's just crazy. All right, we go here. We could run a tap here. Tapir, is, it, is that how you say that? Tapir? I don't know. Throw Grizzly in the mix. Question. If we run... We run a level 3 fly. Do the flies that it summons summon as level 3s as well? That'd be kind of cool. I think I would like that. These goofballs and their onion, tiger, what are they called? <laughs> tiger something? Alright, so we're going here, of course, to prevent exactly what just happened from happening again. And now... Conpeto's kinda interesting. Though not that interesting. Maybe interesting enough. We'll see. I don't know who would use it on is the issue. <laughs> I'll hang on to, on to it for a second. We'll see. He's got an alligator. Sorry, crocodile. I should know that. Okay, and we're good. Love to see that. You know what? I think we don't need a cone peto. Spinosaurus is tempting. I'm gonna say we don't need that either. I like where we're at right now. I think we roll. Ooh, thank you. Not interested. Not interested. Um, sure. We'll get us another fly in here. Now is this 3-6 every turn from the baboon worthwhile? I'd reckon probably, right? You'd have to imagine so. We could get a crocodile. And that would have saved us a whole lot of sadness right there. Level me. Do we, we have crocodiles in this pack, right? I haven't seen a single one. And I've been looking for them, too. Alright. That's eight wins. Level me. I 
think we just don't go to the crow here. There is Crocodile. He's not here, but there he is. He was just waiting to be called by name. I should have known. Okay, roll me a little bit. Um, throw you in. Keep the baboon in another turn. Scale up our support units a bit. I think my bear's a little stronger than yours, buddy. Just a little bit. A little smidgen. Holy. Alright, let's math this. So if we buy sell, we get one gold. If we buy all three, we spend nine and get seven. No, we get eight back. We lose gold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we don't want to buy all three. Unless you want the level up. But we're looking for crocodiles, so we don't need it. And we're rolling. We rolling out here? Still not seeing any crocodiles. I'll gingerbread if I have to. Don't say I won't, because I will. Alright. Go here. Run it like this. We'll get our bear leveled next turn. It's not going to be enough for the fly. Oh, they swapped us around. How did that happen? Who moved us? Wait, I'm so confused. <laughs> How did we get moved? Let me, let me run that back. Oh, the eggplant. Dude, I'm blind. <laughs> the whole time, I'm like, what happened? This is crazy. Alright. That's looking pretty alright. They're getting smart with us here. Oh, it is a level 3 fly. Interesting. I feel like we didn't really get to display the full extent of our crocodile, but we did learn that the level 3 fly summons are also level 3. So that's like just even more cracked with our, with our minotaur guy. Good to know. Duck. Marmoset, Ant, and then maybe a Suchinoko, potentially. Could be some saucy mammals. Maybe. That's alright. Go Ant, Suchinoko, and... Because it doesn't really matter which of these two. Great hit by the ant. Thank you very much. That'll do it. Alright. Go here. Let's try to get a level. Not yet. There they are. <laughs> of course. Yeah, okay. One roll too late. A lot of door head ants you got there, brother. It's compensating, question mark. Here to you, throwing a minotaur. Go here. Sure. And we'll grab a stow next turn. We're buffing a stoat. <laughs> what does this world come to? Close. Almost had him. Okay, we go here. And roll me. Huge. Um, I think we can roll here. Hope the baboons don't hit each other. <laughs> That's my current plan. And that went very well. I'm glad I did that. OK, 
Okay. Hey, we did get a level. Level me. Lobster. I'm interested. Roll me. Straight up. <laughs> this is a terrible idea, by the way. And I'm well aware. I guess we're doing this. I don't know. <laughs> this seems like a bad idea. What if we just get infinite baboons, right? Is that a bad idea? Let me rephrase that. Is that as bad an idea as it sounds? It appears that it might be. And we do have a slug. Level me. Sell. Okay. Um, let's do... You're gonna go here. Crocodile me. I like it. I like where we're at right now. And now our slug's getting huge. Good snipe. Love it. And the slugs are leveled too. Okay, I was wondering. I was wondering if the sluglets would be leveled. Is sluglet the correct term? You'd have to imagine not. <laughs> but maybe. You know, who makes the rules? Not I. Mm-hmm. Not getting a whole lot here, are we? I mean, straight up, I'll just roll. We're getting nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. At least a slug, come on. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly why we went crocodile. To make every frogman's life miserable. <laughs> uh, so vengeful, and it's great. Alright. I'm liking the emu potential here. I think we, we pull the trigger here, right? I don't know, it is a lot of scaling, though. Maybe we roll. Huge. And straight up. I feel like Tiger's actually pretty good here. The smart play would be to put Tiger behind Minotaur. The fun play. <laughs> is to really screw with these frogman builds. <laughs> or llama builds, I guess. That's what we're working with, actually. He's running frogman build, he just doesn't have the frog yet. Still counts. Level me. That's not gonna cut it. That will. Uh, we don't need gingerbread. We're looking for chocolates, really. And obviously a slug would be more than nice. Beautiful. I'm telling you, this build is the jump kryptonite. <laughs> Just snipe in the back and then you're good. Huge. Level me. Alright. We got some level options. We're just waiting for something to work. Interesting. Your snake is not doing a whole lot there, brother. Lucky dog trigger. Snake is doing one better. <laughs> one, one better than before. I mean, we really just need to get some levels, right? That's one. Aw, oh, dude, just imagine if there was a tiger right there. Ooh, that would have been great. Um, you know what? We could fairy dust here on the, the croc. I 
don't know if that's needed though. <laughs> Probably not. Eh, let's try it. It's fun. Will also be a jump build, I guess. Where are all the jump homies at? They're all hiding now. I'll take a draw. Eggplant doing work. Roll me. Cornucopia, what do we got? Pizza? Sure. Mushroom sounds nice on the slug, but it doesn't actually work in practice. Freeze you, freeze you. Yeah, let's do this. Just get even more snipes. We're really gonna nuke the frogman. Dude, they keep thinking ahead. Oh, come on. <laughs> See, they know what's up. They put the frogman in the middle to hide. So that means we need a seahorse. I love it. Wrinkled... What is a gibbon? Is that an actual thing? Or is this like a... Sap exclusive word? In their own special dictionary. Alright. Place me, place me, place me. Y'all are garbage. Don't even talk to me. Doing the old Cupid shuffle with these two bluebirds here. Level me. Okay. Here's what we're gonna have to do. Brain cramp me. I mean, jackalope makes sense here, right? Sometimes you gotta feed into the beast a little bit. And this is one of those times. Become the enemy to defeat them. There it is. Love me. Minotaur seems to make a lot of sense. Here to you. Throw on the Minotaur. I mean, I prefer it go behind the cricket. That's not really gonna fly now, is it? Unless we give the cricket a fairy dust, I guess. Which we could do. Doesn't seem great, but it's an option. And we're good. Okay. Definitely go here. I mean, I'll... <laughs> can I try the fairy dust? Surely not. We can get rid of you soon. That just seems excessive. Yeah, let's do this. Throw on the baboon. Get a little bit of scaling. Brain cramp. Gingerbread. In a pinch. Not too bad. Oh, he's got jumps out the wazoo over here. I guess we do as well. Um, <laughs> so there's that. My jumps are bigger than yours. Basically the, the energy right now. Everybody gets a cookie. <laughs> Gingerbread man. Thinking Bad Moon goes next turn. Anyone else agree? And you really can't hope to win if you don't have a Minotaur with jumps. <laughs> you know, it's always going to be the best. Now, am I a fan of that being the case? Obviously not. 
but am I aware that it is the case? Yeah, of course. Here to you, throwing a tiger bug. Um, yeah, I mean, straight up, I'll level you. I don't care about either of you. Maybe the bl eh, no. Beautiful. That'll do it. Minotaur didn't even have to attack. Okay. Roll me. Hmm. Not feeling any of these. We could throw in a slug. I'll try it. <laughs> not gonna shy away from a little slug. Um, slug should probably go in place of the Suchinoko. So as soon as we get the slug to level 2, we'll cook it. Just level 3 is so much better right now, you know? They do all their jumpy nonsense. Yeah. And then this sluglet comes out ahead. I'm um, not feeling any of these. Roll me. I think we're just rolling here. Maybe Vulture is good enough, right? And maybe get another Vulture. Be nice. That almost counts. Start here. I'm not gonna stoop to Frogman levels. Come on. You didn't think I'd do that, right? I'm better than that, at least. This guy ain't. Come on, snipe the frog, man. Do it. Not enough. Frogman lives. Here we go. Now we're talking. Roll me. Roll me again. They really want the frogman out here, don't they? Yeah, let's go here. Big snipe. Oh, by one? Really? Yeah, I hate to see that. Here to you. Throw on a fly. Roll me. Huge. Love it. We'll go chocolate next turn. Throw it on probably the vulture. I'd have to imagine. As always, making the frogman life miserable is my one job. As long as he's not buffing, I've done my job. Even if I lose. Um, throw in here. Um, let's do this. I think this makes a lot of sense. I like the level. Snipes. Why is your Minotaur so far back? What the heck is he doing over there? He's <laughs> just got like a 1-500 attack Minotaur. Or a 1 attack 500 health Minotaur. Not feeling that one. We roll chocolates great. Okay, we're good. We're doing it. Again, weird double support unit energy. 
can't say I really get it. All right. We're, we're getting close. <laughs> I don't feel like we've really driven home the whole anti-jump vibe. But we're getting there. Bluebird, always a win. <laughs> this combo, very rarely a win. Underdogs or doggies? I feel like we need an underdog story. This seems like what we need here. <laughs> We didn't lose somehow. I'll take it. Sure, sure. Roaming. Take it. Okay. Good bluebird hits. That counts. Same exact hits as last round. We'll take it. Brother, you gotta stop buffing the mouse. That guy's not gonna be here forever. Hopefully. Alright, level mate. Obviously you run a minotaur with the cricket. That's just natural. We go here. Kind of feeling Ogo Pogo for some reason. Roll me once. All right. You've convinced me. <laughs> I don't think we need two though. That's not like a long term. And we're good. Alright, what do you got for us here? Doorhead Ant seems pretty good. Roman? Seahorse. Straight up. <laughs> I don't like Ogopogo that much, let's be real. He's not that good. I think we're rolling for levels. Huge. Huge. Hey, Bluebird is approving of our seahorse. That's fantastic news. Good hits. Oh yeah, dude, we're golden. Golden, get it? Because there's no trophies in the pack? <laughs> Hilarious, I know. Alright, well apparently our cricket has been superseded. And uh, do we? I think we just peach here. Straight up. I think that's the right play. Seems unconventional, but I think that's the right one to do. Okay. Not quite. The one three jackalope stands. Okay, you need to go like so bad. Hang on to gingerbread. Yeah, let's do this. Seahorse next round. Maybe we'll get a crocodile and level up. That'd be pretty cool. Oh no. <laughs> this is terrible news. That'll happen. We don't even have garlic. Just sitting ducks out here. There it is. It's happening. Then we'll give him a good old gingerbread man next turn. Beautiful. No shot, do we lose that by one health? <laughs> no shot. I hate everything. Okay, Bluebird's gotta go. I sell the crow, get a level on you. Run another one. Full send. Um. Anyway, who, do, who, who are we gonna gingerbread here? Let's be real. Nobody. Nobody needs the gingerbread. Good snipes. I 
mean, I wouldn't mind getting a little... little fairy dust on these <laughs> crocodiles here. On the DL, of course. Last enemy two spaces forward. That one, two. You're not swapping with the third position though, and that's where it's kind of getting tricky, right? Um, okay. I think we're rolling. Ideally, we snipe the back and then throw whoever's left in the front. I think is the objective. Hold on to you. I think this is fine. It's not great. It's fine. This is the plan in action. <laughs> We're demolishing the fragile little ecosystem of these jump builds. We can't handle it. Hold on to you, just in case. In case we don't find another croc, which we didn't, so I'm glad we held on to it. Mm-hmm. Get him out of here. Yep, you're up in the front. You're in the front there, Mr. Frogman. Marco0009. <laughs> this is what you get. We're bringing hell to the jump builds. Sure. I feel like the slug isn't doing much. <laughs> I might switch it for a tiger. Straight up, let's do it. I mean, a fly could be good, too. I might try it out. Mm-hmm. That's right. Get those jump builds out of here, brother. I want none of it. I think this makes sense. I've realized <laughs> um, our tiger is misplaced. I don't know when that happened. Probably when I moved the crocodile up. It has been corrected. Is a grizzly better? I don't think so, actually. Hold on to you. Throw you in the front just for a little extra minotaur action. Beautiful. This is working great. <laughs> it even works when they aren't building the that build, you know? Straight up. Level 3, let's see it. See how this does. We should switch these. That's my bad. No amount of potatoes is gonna help you here. Though it is a very big build already. This is a PSA to everybody out there still in this weekly. Run this build. Everybody run it so this can never happen, okay? Run full snipes in the back. Just jostle up everything, and they'll never get to that point. Trust me. Alright, I hope y'all enjoy. That's gonna be enough for me. I'll see you on the next episode. Have a good one.